these? What? These. These were on the railing outside of my door. What? Tell me what are these? Pants. No! Wrong again! How many thousands of times can you be wrong in one day? How many? These are a symbol. These are a symbol of a shoddy, disorganized place of business. I want to know who put these outside my door, and I want to know why. I'm not sure what... You're not sure? You're not sure I have these things outside of my fucking door, and you have no idea where they came from. I have people coming in and out of here, leaving right and left without paying. Do you think I'm running a charity here, Marsha? No. Good. Let me explain something to you. Let me tell you how I run things, okay? This is your desk. This is where you work. Do you see how easy it is for you to sit there and push buttons and write names? That's all you have to do, Marsha. That's all. Now, come on. You want to talk about difficulty? You want to know how hard my job is? Here, look at these. These are my instruments. These are what I use to work on my patients. Look at these, Marsha. I hold a person's well-being with one of these. It's capable of inflicting the most horrifying pain anyone can ever imagine. So I use these hands, these hands to delicately apply my skills. Are you taking notes on this? I hope so, because it gets much better. Come here, have a seat. Now, this is where I place people under sedation to a state of complete unconsciousness. Now, just last week, I put a guy under and I cut each and every one of his teeth out, roots and all, right down to the bone. I sawed him out of his head, Marcia. That was right before lunch. Then I took little screws and I screwed them into his cheekbone. I placed dentures on top of his gum and I hammered them into place. Now, in order for me to remain rock steady through all these procedures, all I need is somebody up front who can answer the telephone and take names. This is a push-push business, Marcia. All the time. That's all you need to do. Do you have the slightest idea what it would mean to my career if you were to create a situation that would cause me to lose one of my best patients? While you sit up there and you're tapping your little pencil and you're thinking about bopping your boyfriend or whatever the fuck it is that you do, do you stop to consider that I have some major responsibilities that a lot of people depend on me. They place their undying faith in me!